I would like to introduce Tom Fleming, and I will put your presentation on. Thank you very much. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you all today? Good? Ready for a couple of intensive days, I hope? Excellent. Well, um, first of all, thank you very much for the introduction. It's great to be here. It's great to be back in Kasicha, and also it's great to be in Kazania. I, I came here about a year ago, and we, we sort, of, sort of promised that this was going to be converted and um, that it was going to look as immaculate as it does today, but I was a little bit sceptical. Thank you. Um, but we are here today in this conference, in place, in Kazania. So, you know, rec uh, you know, congratulations for all those involved in getting this place together. Although I would say that that's the easy bit done now. I think the tricky bit now is to integrate this so that it, it connects with the life of the city and becomes a um, visceral part of the cultural and creative life of the city. So next time I come back, I hope that this is full of creative businesses and organizations. Maybe you'll sort the licensing out so there'll be some cafes and bars. And I hope that it has that kind of froth and energy that is so important if a city like Kasich is to develop and grow its creative sector and to be a genuinely distinctive place of culture and creativity. Um, my job, um, and Paul's job really, is to, is to kind of marshal us through these two days and to introduce the speakers and, and, and perhaps to reflect on some of the key emergent themes that, that, that we have through this program. Um, it is quite a diverse program. We've got some um, really, really eminent and interesting speakers, not just from the city, but from the region, nationally and internationally. Uh, and our challenge, I think, is to make the most of these people while they're here in Kasicha so that we can genuinely co-create an agenda that takes the city forward after 2013 into a longer-term engagement with creativity as a resource for city development. So that's the challenge. Let's see this as, an, as, a, as the beginning of the next phase. Um, and let's see this as a bridge that takes us toward Kasicha genuinely being understood as a, as a strong, distinctive, creative city nationally and internationally. So not too much to worry about then. Um, my job, though, also, I think, is to be a little bit of a, a, a kind of critical friend through this process. Because, as we heard from the mayor there, and as it's written in the program, um, it's not enough to talk about how creative you are. It's not enough to say creative city. It's not even enough to start introducing specific, policy, specific, specific policies and actions related to the creative sector. It's all about delivering value and delivering value with the creative talent, the major resource that you have in your city. And a lot of people, since the crisis, um, and also a lot of people perhaps after 20 talking about creative cities, are getting a little bit skeptical, or perhaps they're a little bit tired, um, or perhaps they're running out of solutions. And they're even asking this question, you know, why bother? Why are we here again in another conference about creative city making? What is it that, that's new to learn? What is it that we can do to more effectively do this agenda? Because, of course, you know, the crisis introduced all sorts of dilemmas, dilemmas of confidence, uh, the, it, dilemmas in terms of the extent to which creativity can, or the creative industries, as is part of that creativity agenda, can deliver the kind of economic development, social development that we need in cities that are struggling to position themselves, struggling to build sustainable and high-value economy in the future. There's a sense that people were losing faith in the agenda, but also perhaps more, uh, more significantly losing faith in the capacity of policymakers, governments, um, intermediaries to actually deliver for them. So we need to be ask, some, ask, ask some difficult questions through this process about what is possible and who can actually make a difference. Um, and I think that the, perhaps the answers are slightly different to what they were 20 years ago, where we looked more to government, more to the policymakers than to ourselves. And of course, we're also struggling with this agenda because if the creative economy agenda, the creative agenda is so significant, then why is it that our cities are still struggling to position themselves, struggling to build distinctive, strong value economies? Why is it that so many of our cities are still broken? Why is it that so much talent still is wasted, is under, under connected, under resourced, lost. Why is it that so many of our cities are still losing people, losing their position? 
But also there are other challenges, because where there was success with the creative economy, who was it the city as a whole, or was it a small group of people who were already connected, or who already had the kind of social and cultural capital that is so important to build careers, to build value through creativity? Who benefited, and who will benefit in the future? And what is the role of culture, creativity, in city making? Is it a tool for other agendas in a, in a very strictly instrumental way? So when we see arts-led programs, or we see creative workspace programs, is that about another agenda? Is it around attracting, real, tra attracting investment in real estate? Is it about brand posi positioning of a city? Or is it about genuinely providing jobs for the talent base? about engaging with the creativity of the people, about connecting with their aspirations. Um, so to what extent, when we think about the creative future of the city, are we engaging with the aspirations of the talent base? Are we thinking about the communities outside of this room? Um, and are we thinking about the full diversity of the talent, increasingly diverse cities across the world? Because the creative industry certainly wasn't and hasn't been as diverse as the full talent base. And if, it's a, if, if the raw material of the creative sector is talent, then we need to make the most of the full diversity of that, talent, of that raw material. Um, particularly as we, in a situation with the crisis where resources are strained, where communities are polarized, where ignorance is actually growing rather than diminishing. So to what extent, as we build this happy new future through creativity, are we being genuinely inclusive, intercultural, tolerant, in, and engaging? And how, therefore, do we go beyond the glossy rhetoric of the creative city? It's interesting in this program, there's a lot of talk about, there's a lot of focus on branding, around city positioning. And of course, one of the major lessons we've learned that that has to be driven by reality. It has to be driven by people producing creating meaning, creating value. You can't just brand a creative city. You can't just prefix your city with the word creative because that's just empty positioning. So we need to move beyond that, move beyond that race for the prize where cities are trying to out-create each other in the way that they position themselves, in the way that they brand themselves, to the extent that it becomes just rhetoric, meaningless. Um, if every city followed the same course that... Um, that, we've, that, that we've followed in the last 20 years, there's a danger of just having this kind of bland, vanilla landscape of creative nowheres. So we'll get down to some specific questions in this process to, over these next two days. This needs to be focused on the specific, distinctive assets and opportunities of Kasicha. This needs to be creative city-making on your terms, on our terms. Um, and as we scream into the megaphone in the in the kind of global war for attention, as, as, as all cities have to do if they're to attract resources, if they're to keep talent, if they're to continue moving forward, then we need to do that on our own terms, distinctively, and based through what we have here. Um, and of course, there are other things we need to factor in here. Smaller cities have to do things differently. Smaller cities can't replicate what happens in the big cities. And a lot of the creative city agendas were born in the metropolis. They were born out of the experience of what happens when lots and lots and lots of talented people, lots of capital, lots of infrastructure piles together, particularly in our global cities. Kasicha is not a global city in, that, in, in, in the sense that it's not somewhere that can aggregate those resources so effectively as somewhere like Berlin or London or even Bratislava. So we need to develop an agenda on our terms. This is not to say smaller cities are... Are, are empty of opportunity. They're not, by any means, one-horse towns. But they have issues. They have issues around the capacity, often around their confidence and around their connectivity. And it's critical that if we're to grow, grow a sustainable approach to creative city-making in Kasicha and other smaller cities, that we need to attend to these three Cs as much as we possibly can. And otherwise... We are just kidding ourselves. Creativity is just an opiate for city makers. It is just a means of um, trying to relax in the, in the glare of some massive systemic problems, and we can't relax. So what I think we need to do through this program, if we can, 
is to create or co-create a new agenda for city making, where Kasichi can be seen as a knowledge leader, a city that, the city that is gra grasping the thorny issues around creative, creativity and city making, is taking a lead in a next generation of models, of ways forward for city making, is genuinely, genuinely majoring on its distinctive asset bases, is genuinely trying to position creativity as something that connects different agendas, is genuinely trying to diversify its economy rather than, rather than to replace its economy through the creative sector. And that means sometimes being quite fundamentalist. It means going right down to understanding what it is that makes this place distinctive, what place, makes this place tick. What is the kind of creative and cultural DNA of this city? It's also about how we tell that story. How do we explore what is authentic, distinctive, the deep, deep cultural stories we can tell about Kasicha? And how then can we package that? How can we string these things together in terms of the story we tell? So there's a kind of balanced creative portfolio across the city that lifts the different assets of the city, the institutions, the cultural sector, the, 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 the communities, into an overall creative portfolio for the city. And how can we do things that are a little bit different? Lots of cities focus on certain sectors. Can we focus on the convergence of sectors? Can we focus on bringing our creative creatives together with some of the more traditional, perhaps some of the more mainstream sectors? Can we lift the performance of, of sectors that are, are struggling? Can we add value to emergent sectors in technology, cultural tourism? To do this, we focus just on branding, not just on storytelling, and not just on grand projects. We need to focus on people. We need to focus on enabling the creative talent to develop their activities, to feel they have a role, to feel the city delivers an enabling environment for their creativity to flourish. That means we need to develop cities that are productive, inclusive, and build in, because we're working with the people, that, that genuine, genuinely will build in a kind of agility for the overall economy. So where are the creatives? Where are the makers, the, 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 the people with the ideas, the people who are crafting, um, the people who are de developing content through their ideas? Um, how can we ensure that they flourish? How can we ensure that they are more visible? They play a more animated role in the city. How can we develop those touch points, those points of connection, where they can work together, where they can collaborate? How can we bring together the different assets that we have in the cultural sector, in the community sector, in the business sector, into those kind of spaces where, where ideas can flourish, where collaboration can happen? And ultimately, this is about how we make the city, in different ways, stickier. This is about ensuring that people can connect and, f and lay down roots and work together and feel that this is a city where they can work. It's a city that's saying, work here. You can go, you can leave, but you're still going to be hauled back in somehow because there's this power, there's this connectivity. The education sector obviously plays a major role there. Creative education from an early age, through schools, into the university sector. And this is not just around in, in, embedding creativity as a core practice. This is about opening up the education institutions, so they play a more proactive role in the city. So they work with businesses, they work with talent, they're more interdisciplinary, they break down the, the departmental walls, they work together to create new meaning, new ideas, new content. But it's also about appealing to a more holistic sense of place, a more holistic kind of creative agenda, where we, where we position a strong cultural sector, a vibrant, productive, creative sector, as something that ultimately makes the city more livable more amenable, it's more open, it's more convivial, it's more tolerant. And that sometimes, in a smaller city, means that perhaps it's a little bit slower. It's about relationships, the, the spaces to build deeper and meaningful relationships. It might not be about this boosterish approach to creativity which we used to have, which is all about growth, it's all about jobs, it's all about now. Perhaps we can build more slowly. Perhaps we can build those, that kind of intimacy that's harder to create in bigger cities, a love that's harder to, to nurture in larger places. And that might mean slowing down. Because if we race and race and race, the chances are we'll trip over because the bigger cities are already faster. So perhaps we need to do things a little bit differently, a little bit slower. And ultimately, perhaps we can do things because we can coordinate things, because we can build deeper relationships in a smaller city. Perhaps we can do things a little bit better than bigger cities. Because one of the challenges I think often in smaller cities is a sense that you're compromising if you're doing things here. You're not as good if you're a creative business here as you, if you, as you are if you're a creative business in a larger city. You must be compromising somehow. That seems to be the kind of assumption. And that gets built in to the psyche of creative business.
businesses and cultural organizations. Oh, we stayed in Kasicha, therefore we're compromising. I don't think that needs to be the case. Excellence here if we marshal our energy and our resources more effectively, and if also if we integrate and, uh, and mainstream creativity across different agendas. To, for example, how can we position design thinking? How can, we, how, can we, how can we really, really lift the design sensibility, the design quality of the city, providing jobs for the design sector, lifting the performance, the quality, the identity of the, the over? Um, and to what extent is there, is there quality in other areas of public life? in the community spaces, to what extent are people engaged in, in co-producing their public space, in, in, in managing the kind of cultural life of the city? Is it all very top-down, or is it more spread, more engaged across different communities? And to what extent, if we you know, cut across agendas, can we see that creativity and a creative city agenda is actually about making Kasicha somewhere that's much more livable? And this is important in talent attraction. Often there's this urgency about retaining talent, keeping talent. Actually, talent's always going to leave a smaller city, but perhaps you can get some of it back, and some of it back earlier, where they've, come, they've gone away, made the connections, but they want to come back, they want to start their family, they want to build their business and connect through Kasicha. So to what extent is this about making this city also more livable? So very, very quickly, six things to say. Okay, one, a sustainable creative city should be, what we need to do. This is the beginning, I think, of creating a strong narrative, an, an, an argument as to why this sector is important, why creativity as an agenda is important. Often, we talk about why it's important, we don't develop the evidence base. Where is your evidence? Have you undertaken mapping? Have you engaged with the sector? Have you developed a starting point which we can benchmark from? Secondly, to what extent are we critically uh, um, analysing what is happening in this city? To what extent is there a critical response to this place we're in? To what extent is there a sense of ownership of the creative agenda from other people? So this is my city, this is our creative agenda. To what extent is this creative city agenda intercultural, intergenerational and interdepartmental where the, this is not just about a small scene, this is, about a, this is a civic endeavour where there's a participatory approach to creative city making overall. To what extent is the creative sector converging different agendas, where the arts and cultural sector is no longer this traditional, ossified, undemocratic, um, un non-entrepreneurial, slow, um, subsidy-dependent sector? To what extent is it opening up, providing those, those, those moments of inspiration, those spaces for technology, science, art, business to come together to create new economies, new experiences? To what extent are we experimenting, taking risks in this city? Lots of small cities don't like to experiment. They, they feel hidebound because this wouldn't happen here. We can't take risks. If you're going to succeed, you need to experiment. You need to take risks. You need to find creative solutions. You need to get the people involved to do that. So critically, at the heart of this, to what extent is all of this collaborative? This is a collaborative process because we want to get your feedback throughout these two days to co-create a, a strategic agenda for the creative city. But to what extent is there a collaborative agenda normally? How do people connect with each other? Do they work in teams? Or are they protective of their own little world, their own little agendas? Um, I get the sense, and I think Paul would agree, that perhaps in Kasicha this is a major, if not the major issue, the extent to which you collaborate and work together. And ultimately, to what extent is there an aspirational agenda in Kasicha. To what extent does this feel like a city that loves you and wants you to love it back? This is a major thing for any city to get right. Um, I get a sense there's a lot of love, but it's a kind of sort of resentful, prickly kind of love going on in, in Kasicha. How can we embrace Kasicha in terms of what it can offer in the future? And just to leave you with a quote, I often leave a, with a quote from a city, but I think that this quote from a, a cultural venue in Bristol in the southwest of England for me, sums up what a city can and should be. So I'd like to think that Kasicha and the overall civic ambition perhaps is to position the place as a somewhere where you do get collisions, collisions of experiences, of cultures, of identities coming together. The city is a laboratory for experiment, risk and disruption. And the city is a router and amplifier of cultural ideas, creativity and technology. Do that here, then the future does look rosy. Um, and I think that there's an opportunity for Kasicha to position itself as a leading smaller city on that agenda, to set some agendas and to, and to show the way for smaller cities elsewhere. So I'll leave you with one question, which is what is a creative city should be? Question 
Mark. And Paul, over to you, I think. Thank you very much.